It's been a hot minute since we got anything new for Mario, so when Mario 3D World confirmed that Bowser's Fury would be its own game mode, you bet your billy I was ecstatic. The Wii U has just about all of its good games ported to the Switch now, this being one of the last few. So with that said, let's get into why Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is mind-blowing. And also, big final boss spoiler alert. In 3, 2, 1. The new UI is pretty clean. It looks good on the Wii U too, but the Switch version is slightly better. Every character has increased running speed, which is really nice considering this game was kind of slow paced before. In the Wii U version, ground pounding down a pipe was pretty slow, but for the Switch version, it works exactly the same as Odyssey. You go down at full speed. The Captain Toad levels are now playable with four players. Even Yellow Toad didn't get gypped like he usually does. Yay! There's a brand new power-up called the Invincibility Bell, which is basically Cat Mario, but enemies don't hurt you. The Amiibo honestly don't do anything that interesting, but at least they look really nice. You can now climb even higher with the cat suit, And you can roll in mid-air. The movement has been a bit spruced up. The multiplayer has local wireless and even online play, which is pretty incredible. The first 3D Mario game to have online. Aw yeah. While Miiverse may sadly be gone, the stamps certainly aren't. Now you can use them in snapshot mode and align them however you want. You can skip most of the cutscenes if you don't want to watch them for the 50th time. If you collect a green star but take a stock, you keep the green star now instead of losing it. We got an entire new game mode, Bowser's Fury. I don't think anyone was expecting such a massive update. The game starts off with Fury Bowser going absolutely ballistic. This is the perfect way to set the tone for how this mode is. I can't believe that Bowser Jr. is not only helping us in Bowser's Fury, but he also has his paintbrush from Mario Sunshine. I never thought Nintendo would go back to that idea. And you can even control how helpful Bowser Jr. is, which honestly is a rarity considering most Nintendo games don't have difficulty settings. Plus he can dive underwater and slide on land. What a good and helpful fella. The Gigabell turns Mario into a Super Saiyan. That's it. That's the line. I love this little 8-bit Fury Bowser loading the game. He looks so cool. I really love the design of the cat shines. They've got this really intriguing and mystical look to them. It's impossible to not smile when listening to Plessy's music. Told ya. Wait a second, Moon Rocks in Mario 3D World? Huh, I guess Mario Odyssey is canon. There's no live system in Bowser's Fury. Instead, you lose 50 coins when you die. You can hold multiple different power-ups in Bowser's Fury for whenever you need a specific one. Aw, hell yeah! A full 360-degree camera? That's what I like to call a pogger's moment. Wow, Nintendo really went all in on everything being a cat. Fury Bowser has to be the scariest incarnation of Bowser we've seen since Melee. Bully the Cat Bullies. Hey, that's a reference to Bully the Bullies from Mario 64, and you thought I wouldn't see it. Really, Nintendo, I'm gonna see it. I'm going to see references to that game. The fast traveling is insanely fast in Bowser's Fury, and super handy, too. This picture that Bowser Jr. made is absolutely adorable. Look at this, oh my goodness. What better feeling is there than finding a super fast way to get a cat shine that isn't intended? That's right, none. None! So the Fury Shadows are basically the Cosmic Marios from Mario Galaxy, but instead you attack them! The Fury Bowser phases progressively get more and more interesting. They're not super difficult, but for the most part, really fun. I love how near the end, you get a Cat Shine which would usually tamper Fury Bowser away, but he becomes so powerful that it doesn't work anymore, so you have to get 50 Cat Shines while getting bombarded with flames. It really makes the action so much more intense. So how does Bowser go down in the end? That's right, massive furry plessy. Point made. Oh, I get where this is going now. You just want to find that bell before I do and you're trying to trick me. <laughs> in your dreams. Well, guess what? I'm finding first! Cat bell. Oh, where is it? Where is it? <sighs> well, <clears throat> back to Bowser's furry. Haha. <laughs> Hello? Cat bell? Come on. Come on. Where? Ugh. Where is it? Wait. Wait. Oh my god. No way. No way. 
No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got it! Okay, 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 okay. Daniel, guess who found the cat fell of justice? Huh? And you need me to drive, don't you? Getting there will be so easy. I've walked literally thousands of thousands of miles in my days. And if you think that I can't go there on my own, then you must be crazy. Nathaniel, I found it. Hey. Oh, I found a cat here. Hello, kitty. Carl? I see you finally found me. The one and only. Why didn't you just text me or Nathan for help? Less questions. Do you have the bell? Uh, yeah. Here you go. Thanks. And in return, the ultimate power. You got us a handshake? Not just any handshake, a friendly handshake to brighten your day. Thanks again, guys. <laughs>